Before the video starts, I wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to extend the deadline for my 500 subscriber art contest a few days to Friday, March 5th. With all the craziness going on, I thought some people might have been preoccupied, so now you have a few extra days if you'd like to enter. I'll link the official prompt and rule video in the description. Hi there! This is going to be a draw this in your style challenge for Natalia Medej's drawing. I'll link her below. If you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? I make artsy videos every week, sometimes twice a week, so be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications to all so you never miss an upload. First thing was to sketch out my pose in Procreate. I like the pose Natalia drew the character in, but I wanted to switch it up just a bit. This was the pose I used as a reference. There was something about the shoe design on Natalia's character, I just could not wrap my brain around the pattern and how to recreate it. Once I was happy with it, I transferred my drawing from my iPad to my paper. I just bought a new pad of marker paper and this was my first time using it and I have to say I really like it. Normally I use smooth Bristol board for marker drawings because that's what I used for my colored pencil drawings, but my stash was running low so I thought I'd see what else was out there. What I'm using now is the Hobby Lobby brand Master's Touch. It's a lot thinner and flimsier than the Bristol board paper, but the ink doesn't bleed onto the next page, which is awesome. <laughs> The piece of paper I'm drawing on now has a crease in the middle because I like to separate the paper into sections to get more drawings out of it. I might make a large full page drawing someday, just not today. Tomorrow doesn't look good either. I use some colored fine liners to outline all the areas of the drawing and I use the same color of fine liner that I would be using to fill in with the markers. So her hair is brown, I outlined it with a brown fine liner. Her shirt is going to be green, green fine liner. I do sometimes like to use black to outline my drawings, but I think going with a colored outline can give a softer look and also make it look more realistic. Usually black outlines can make drawings look cartoony, which is fine, just not what I'm going for here. For her hair, I started by using a color called Honeydew for the highlighted areas, and now we're doing some blush. <laughs> I really have no rhyme or reason for jumping around to different areas. I think maybe I'm afraid to mess up what I'm working on so I move to something else, but the cycle just repeats itself until the drawing eventually gets finished. <laughs> I put down a darker color than the skin tone in the shaded area of her skin and used a lighter color to blend the edges of the first color. With this paper, I got a little worried because the edges of the first layer of marker were not blending out as I used the lighter color, but it did eventually. I noticed it a bit later, so now I know I just need to be more patient. I think with Copic marker paper and maybe some other brands, the hard edges of the marker ink do blend out pretty instantly, and I'm only going off what I see in other people's marker videos. I've never tried Copic paper myself, but that's not the case with this paper. It does happen eventually, it just takes a couple minutes, and it still looks really nice. The shirt is probably what I'm least happy with. I wasn't using a reference, I wanted to try to figure out where all the little wrinkles would go. I first just colored in where the darkest shadows would be and tried to gradually blend my way to the highlights with lighter and lighter colors. Well, before I did that, I went back to the hair. <laughs> this color is a dark brown called Russet and I layered that along with a color called Wine Red, which is really more of a brownish red than a reddish brown, if that makes sense. <laughs> The wine red is actually darker than my darkest brown, but since it has a reddish hue, it creates a nice shift in color that gives the illusion that the hair has movement. I'm really beginning to enjoy using markers the more I use them. I used only alcohol markers for the entirety of Inktober last year, but that was really my introduction to using them and I think I overwhelmed myself a bit. While I really enjoy painting, what I like the most about markers is just the ease of use and how much less of a mess there is. Well, I mean... 
Compared to painting, where you have paint tubes, pans, palettes, brushes, water cups, paper towels, you get the idea. It's also nice to be able to make custom colors with markers. Paints do have a bit of an advantage when it comes to the range of color mixing, as shown here in this watercolor mixing chart I made. There are 144 color options here from just a 12 color set of watercolors, and really even more colors are possible than what's shown here. With markers, you're a bit more limited, but you can layer them to an extent to make different colors. Like on her shoes, the green color is a bit on the grayish side, so I just layer the green and some grays until it's a color I'm happy with. But I'm pretty sure this only works with alcohol-based markers. After the markers, I went in with my colored pencils to add some more texture to the hair and the clothing. I think it looks especially nice on the jeans. The roughness of the colored pencil gives the jeans more of that denim texture. And after using the colored pencils, I went over with a marker to soften the texture of the pencil.
and here's the finished drawing and the comparison. I think adding in the strands of hair really makes it look nicer. I wish the shirt had turned out better, but I'm excited to do some more clothing studies and improve my technique. I'll have a short version of this video posted this Friday on my channel and also on my TikTok. Like this video if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more artsy videos from me. Make sure to set your notifications to all so you can watch my new videos as soon as they're posted. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!